Welcome back to Cocktails of Queen's first show of 2020. Now we got to start it off right with this topic, this hot topic. These new school rappers are out of their their, their mind. Uh, it's the audacity. <laughs> rapper, the, the, the gorgeous uh, rapper, uh, Young Thug, did an interview and made some pretty bold claims about having more hits than, than Jay-Z. Let's take a look. Mm. Oh, like that. Mm. Mm. What you just, what the whole stadium finna the same? Mm. He got a lot though. Yeah. Oh, don't you ever in your life compare yourself to anything with Jay-Z? Listen, you are popping now. Jay-Z's been around for, what, 30 years? Oh, I thought that was a play on words. Oh. What's I, like him? What's I like him. I like him. I like him, too. What's his song? Uh, he, he's, on, he's on that feature with Havana. Hey. Na, na. hey. <laughs> Okay, we we're clearly a song with Meg the Stallion. Come on now. And no one can name one song. I need one song, ladies. One Young song. Thug by himself. I, I don't know. Song, I, he's a good collaborator. Don't Chris stop Brown. Well, you're right, Claudia. Maybe we're not good examples. Because yeah, I am. Y'all you know, ain't listening to me though. But I do know that he probably wasn't alive when Jay-Z was making hits. So you probably wasn't even alive. And if you were alive, you was probably like three. Just ask him to put his money where his mouth is. Just tell him to list his songs because he might get some, some underground songs that we four don't know nothing about. I don't know the songs, but I just know him. Like he was a rapper that was wearing skirts and he was calling guys baby and stuff like that. And then it was all this like drama. I remember with him and Rich Homie Quan, they was like a thing. Right. And I asked Rich Homie Quan about that in an interview and he was like, like, it didn't seem like he was really with all that. And I don't know if it's like a, a, people do this and get attention, but he has an interesting uh, fashion sense. Vivica, do you think he's attractive? You know, he's like, just like a good, sexy ass looking cockroach. I was oh, and I don't mean that mean like I don't like you know what I mean like he looks like he looks like you know what I mean because it's like the little the hair and everything like that but he's very I know what you mean he's I got rock star like quality white, exactly. like he would be a great animation character uh, just come through you know what I mean be like hey what's happening you know what I mean so if you saw him in the kitchen late night when you're gonna get you a drink you're gonna let that cockroach live that's the cockroach <laughs> I meant that in the kindest term, though. You know what I mean? Because his features, they're just very, you know. But he's a- very rock star. He loves his diamonds. He loves fashion. He loves pushing it's buttons. So and he makes good music. But his ass is not as big as Jay-Z. No. That's yeah. your, your catalog. You put up your catalog, you're going to look like you got a pamphlet, brother. You know what I mean? Jay Z's catalog, your little, I mean, yeah. but, but, but way to think big of yourself. That well, he's very crazy. confident. What, That's what delusional. In him saying, let's, like, let's just think about this here. What, okay. Why would he say I'm that? Well, make the block. What is the reasoning behind him saying that? Like, let's say, let's say we did find 30 songs of yours that was good and big and it ended up that Jay Z had only 29. What what is that going to do for you? Like what is right. the Oh, it's boosting his ego. That's why he's talking about it. Man, we're talking, talking about it. About it. <laughs> He's trying to get a versus. Is that what you're trying? You're trying to get a versus with right, Listen, Young Thug versus Jay Z in a versus. But Jay Z, no pun intended, will stomp his ass out. I'm just Jay-Z saying. Jay Z would have to get uh, Tupac to come up from dead. Like, did you- oh, <laughs> okay. Only Eminem, only Eminem could go against Jay Z. Only. <laughs> Okay, we're going to go to some good, positive, beautiful news. Nicki Minaj is starting the new year off on a happy note after sharing the first pictures of her baby boy. The hip-hop star gave birth three months ago and just finally posted the pictures to social media. Mm-hmm. We don't know the son's name, but the baby, uh, people, they're affectionately calling the baby Papa Bear. Super, super cute. The cheeks yeah. are so oh. Everything. Look at the tummy. Look, look at the thighs. The little, 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 little chicas. You just want to just, oh, come here. Look. Oh, oh, look at him. And then she got him dressed so cute. You know, when you just see people and their baby look like it smell good. You know? But, yeah. like right up under that neck right there. Right there. Right there. Come here, Snoop. Oh, he looks exactly like her. Yeah. Yeah, he does. Like her out, for real. Yeah. And you can hear the joy in her voice. She sounded like a mommy, like talking to the baby, like that was a different tone for her. And 
kudos to her that she's going to yeah, get to exactly. experience this in life. There are, people, there are people questioning why won't she release the names? And I feel like, you know what, I, it, the, the less she gives to these people on social media, the better, because that's a baby. And there's always going to be someone that's going to find something exactly. negative. And let's not even bring that negativity into the new house, the household with the baby. And we'll Beautiful know baby in time. We'll know when she's ready for us to know. Ready. You know? Congratulations. Exactly. Very, very cute little chubby baby. I want to just pinch those cheeks. Oh. All right, y'all. Um, we only have a couple of minutes before this uh, next break. We know what? Let me, we can get into this a little bit. Uh, okay. The COVID-19 vaccinations, uh, a Milwaukee healthcare worker intentionally removed 50 vials of Moderna vaccine from a refrigerator and then they went bad. That means hundreds of doses, a hundred doses of the life-saving vaccine won't be used. What are your thoughts on a healthcare worker, you know, making this kind of mistake? And that wasn't a mistake. He did, exactly. That, yeah, he did that. And so he needs to be held accountable because we are yeah. looking at the essential workers to be able to be, you know, upfront people, you know what I mean? And honest people. And he doesn't get to make that choice. He doesn't get to make that decision for anybody. Do y'all feel better about taking the vaccine? Do y'all feel any better or any more confidence about taking the vaccine? I'm definitely going to take it because, you know, eventually we got to live again, y'all. But mm -hmm. I'd love to see the results. Uh, just so that we know when everyone does start to take it, that it's safe. I think that's the main thing. Y'all, we first went to school as kids. We all got that little booster shot that, you know, that all of us, you know, had to get, you know, immunized. But well, what happened to the nurse that took the shot and she fainted? And then someone said that she was either in the hospital or that they can't find her. Well, have some of these people have pre-existing conditions, Lisa Ray. So you have to realize that if there's someone that has a heart that's weak or something like that, just, I know my heart going to be beating 100 miles an hour when you take the vaccination. So imagine someone that has an existing condition that it then affects them, you know, and they don't know. They were like, some people like, oh yeah, I got an EpiPen. Don't you think you should have let them know that, hey, in case something goes left, you know, right. I normally use this EpiPen. I mean, that's just common sense to me, but. They said people that have extreme allergies, they were gonna, they may have that kind of reaction. And then two people did, and then they're like, oh, look, but, you know, people like we, we're about to go to break, but people be real paranoid about what's in it. And they, they have the right to question. But then some of these same people be the same ones that be in the clubs taking Molly from strangers. They don't know how much heroin or cocaine <laughs> is pill, And they take those Molly's and they be putting their mouth on the same joint, passing them on the club. And they don't say that about that. Y'all eat uh, White Castle. Don't say that about <laughs> that. But y'all White, White, White Castle. Wait, 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 hold up. Hold up, Claudia. Drive out. Wait, wait, hold up there. Yeah, we we back back the on White Castle, bro. <laughs> White Castle was my best friends many nights <laughs> after USA <laughs> East in Indianapolis, Indiana. So hold up now. Okay. <laughs> oh, you can say checkers. How about that or something? Yeah. Shit, White Castle is good. Like they, they come up for the conference. Are we in break? I said we're going to break. We're in break. Okay. <laughs> they like white castle white castle no <laughs> listen i just remember i had a sandwich and the meat was like a steak i'm like real thin so last first and last time that they were supposed to be it, it was meant to be that mm. yeah